Hello everyone and welcome to Age of Empires 2DE. Today we are doing another tier list. This is for the other unique units. Now if you don't know what that means, these are the unique units that you find from all the other buildings that civilizations have. That's not the castle. Now not every civilization has a unique unit that's non-castle unit. And some of them actually are ships. We're not including those in this video. These are just the land units that come from like barracks, monastery, stable, archery range, and that are considered unique units to civs. This will also include units that are shared units, so like your Condottiero and the, your Genitor. Now, if you want to see the unique units tier list, that is going to be linked in the description below, and it should appear on your screen. Now, these guys are being nice. judged the same way, based on their looks. So we're going to start off with the Savar. This is the Persian replacement for the Paladin. The Savar looks kind of reminiscent of a... I don't even know, like, it kind of reminds me a little bit like a Centurion mixed with... Like a Keshik mixed with... I, I can't even really place it. It just kind of looks like a mix between units. And it's a really cool looking unit, personally. And I think this guy is an easy S tier. It just... He just looks good. Following that, we got the Warrior Priest. The Warrior Priest is a dual-wielding monk. That dual-wields two axes. And he comes from the new Georgian... No, new Armenian city. And I think he's very... He's nice looking. A bit middle of the road, but not super middle of the road, so I think it's a B tier unit. Sane. Next up, we're going to look at the Legionary. Sane. Now this guy Ago. is Ai. a nice looking unit. It's got a cape, it's an Ago. infantry unit. Infantry units to me are some of my favourite looking units. So this guy is an easy S tier. Sane. Very nice looking unit. Next up, we got the Imperial Camel Rider. Personally, not as nice looking to me as the Heavy Camel. So, it gets a little bit of a knock for that. It's a bit, looks a bit like normal to me and but still like a nice looking unit i think this guy is i'm gonna put him into b tier he may go up to a tier we'll see how we go next up we got the camel scout this guy looks like every other scout unit they're all very very basic very simple and for that reason i can't put this guy beyond c tier next we have the shivamsha rider it's a pretty it's a nice looking unit but i don't think it's like doing anything crazy but it's still a little bit better than C tier, so we're putting him into B with the Camel Scout. Oh, that's... sorry, the Imperial... Imperial Camel. Um, next up we have the Winged Hussar. The Winged Hussar is a fantastic looking unit. This is one of my favourite units in the game. And I'm just... just based on looks, it's going to go on to S tier. Next we've got the Shalotta Warrior. This guy isn't really a unique unit, but I figured it kind of fits for this theme. It's a unique to the two of the American civs, and that's the Aztecs and Incas, I believe. So if you convert a sable, you get this dude. It's like kind of like a jaguar warrior on a horse, and it looks really, really awesome. I think it's an AT unit. It's not an ST. It hasn't got that. That's something special. But man, is it close to being an ST. Following that, we got the hoof hoofneets. Now this is. A take on Bombard Cannon, but a lot stronger. And it's uh, it looks a lot better than the Bombard Cannon. It looks a lot more imposing and threatening. And I do like it. So the Hoofneets, I think, goes into A tier. It's not quite an S tier unit. Alright, Flemish Militia. This is the female version. There is a male version because they come from your villages. And this is actually produced in a TC in addition to the Flemish Revolution. So, this guy, oh girl, I think it's like it's a nice looking, it looks kind of like a spearman, but it's not doing anything too crazy. I think it is kind of a C tier. I, I think if I put it any higher than that, it'd be ridiculous. So, C tier. But it does get points for being able to be both male and female. That's, a, that's unique to that military unit. Alright, Flaming Cannibal. Flaming Camel has, I just, I've never actually used a Flaming Cannibal, and the fact that the Flaming Camel has fire when it walks, pretty sick. I think the Flaming Camel goes into, I, I want to say, A tier. It looks just for the animation alone. Without the animation, it's probably definitely a B or a C. But the animation gives it just a little bit of that extra, you know, extra, something extra, you know. Sunny. Following that, we've got the I Imperial Skirmisher. This is another case of a shared unit. And this guy here, it looks like a more armoured... Elite Skirmisher, and they're already a nice looking unit. 
So the Imperial Skirmisher has to be at least B tier. I don't think it's an A tier unit. I think it's I think it's B tier. Because it does look kind of like an Elite Skirmisher. Alright, Genitor. Genitor is also a Skirmisher unit. However, it doesn't have as much going on. So the Genitor, for me, is definitely a C tier unit. Alright, Condor Tierra. This looks... This guy looks kind of like a Huskar with a cape. I just realized he got a cape on his back. Uh, honestly, I think it's kind of pushing A to S. I want to put him into... I'll put him into A tier for now. Next up, we have the Missionary. They're unique to Spanish. I really like them a lot. But if we're going by looks, they're not all that impressive. I think it's B tier because... Yeah, I think it's a B tier unit. Sane. Next up, we have the final unit, which is the Slinger. Sane. The Slinger's not got too much going on, but is a reasonably interesting unit, and it Sane. is for the Incas. Ago. I like this guy a lot. I think he's definitely a B or an A. I'm probably going to say B. A lot of the unique units that aren't from, like, the castle are not as fantastic or interesting to look at. As this guy makes his way up to the tier list, I'm going to take this opportunity to remind you guys to please like the video if you enjoy it and subscribe if you're new here and want to find more of my content. I post every week and then these guys. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.